Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm, and I'm going to do a quick video explaining my answer for my submission that I uh, gave to ProfiTap for the Heroes of Packet Analysis Quiz. And um, that's just at ProfiTap.com, Heroes of Packet Analysis Quiz. That's the URL. As you can see, I'll just copy and paste that into the description of the YouTube video. In case you want to go back, check out the video, I mean the questions, and have a little fun while you're at it. So if you just scroll down here, I'm going to go straight to the question. I was question number three. That's me on November 11th. There you go. So what is the login and password I used? So all the clues you need will be in this trace, trace.pcapng file. Click to download and the points below. So the trace file includes me surfing CNN.com as well as accessing a local device. The protocol I use is HTTP, but not TCP port 80. That's really important. If you find the correct IP pair, you will see me unsuccessfully try to connect to the TCP port 80, and then I try again with the correct TCP port number. After connecting, I log into the device. So, here's your possible answers that I used uh, admin colon root. That means login colon password. So there's all, all the various possibilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this trace file. All right, so the trace file is open. Okay, so like with any trace file, there's going to be more than one way to do this. There is no correct methodology, just the correct answer. So the key is, um, and the clues are all in the question. So the first thing is that I used HTTP. The other point was it's local. Uh, and then I logged in, all that kind of stuff. So the best thing to do, the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, let me just uh, bring this guy in a little bit. There you go. If I just do a filter for HTTP enter, I'll see some traffic and I can see myself, that's my local IP going out to this public IP and then a bunch of local IPs uh, after that. If you take a look, you, just, you can eyeball it. There isn't that much traffic here. It's the same pair after this public IP thing. So if I wanted to get into it, you know, it's probably this is the CNN stuff at the beginning, but this is the stuff we want to concentrate on. So I want to do a quick filter on these two IPs. And the easiest way to do that is right click, conversation pair, I'm sorry, conversation filter, IPv4, click, there you go. Uh, for the people who don't know this, uh, so Wireshark built a filter for you. It's up here at the top. You can see at the beginning, trying to connect to port 80, it's reset, didn't like it, tried, reset, didn't like it. This is what I said in my write-up, that I tried port 80, and then after that failure, I tried another port, and it looks like it's 81. The good news is uh, Wireshark is still able to interpret that as HTTP, and then you kind of log in after that. Uh, again, now this is where you can do it a million different ways. Uh, the easiest way to do this, uh, in my opinion again, is you can easily just search Control F for the word credent, credent, uh, or credentials. That's good enough, credent. I'm going to make it a string, and I want to search my packet details, because credentials is what Wireshark is going to interpret as the login credentials. So I didn't type credent. It's what Wireshark puts there, regardless of what I logged in as. And, and this is why it's important, because this works with practically any login, as long as it's HTTP, not HTTPS, right? So I'm going to go find that. The other thing I want to do is turn on my packet details. Bring that all the way to the top. And you can see it found a packet already. Get HTTP 1.1. Come down here to authorization. You can see there it is right there. That's what went over the wire. So it's an encoding. It's not encryption. It's an encoding. And you can see it got decoded. Credentials admin colon tech head. So if I go back to the web page, admin colon tech head. That is the answer. So hope that helped. Hope you learned something and have a good day. Bye for now.